lovely with the mic. It is, look at him with it's the mic. beautiful with the mic. Yeah, we forward them up there. Four and a half. We share one with the... You share one with share, the neighbors. We share one with the neighbors. Well, that's oven mitt. He has to be involved in everything. But it's funny with the beetles. I heard a quote sometimes. Someone asked some, some biologists or evolutionary biologists, you know, do, you know, do you believe in intelligent design? You know, and all this. Yeah, yeah. Well, I don't know if there's a God, but if there was, a, if there is a God, he certainly liked beetles. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. We love our dung beetles here. And I just saw the beginnings of some door beetle holes mm. just the other day. Yeah, because what would be, really, be a really nice reason I'm asking about the hole and when they are digging is to try and, like I've done it before with ants' nests and things like that where you put miniature mics down. I love that. I would really? love it if you did that. Yeah. And you can do that. I mean, do come back yeah, here. Yeah, no, great. I've really, like, there's really, there's lots there's of... There's loads here. There's, there's loads, loads here. here. And, and what I was start, just starting to say there, this, I'm putting... I'm thinking about the next five years of a project that I'm going to be doing, which is called the sustainment experiments. Yeah. And it's about the idea of in a post enlightenment age, we need to think about the idea of sustainment, which is not predicated on some future notion of progress, but that's really grounded in the present moment mm. yeah and how do we deal with the crisis of the present moment so I want to think through that question through in conversation with people like yourself over the next five years and develop a body of work which will require mm. getting audio sounds and that that captures the non-human within the environment that we're not aware of and sensitizes people to the world that's around them. That sounds like such an excellent project. Excellent. I've been thinking about this for 20 years. Do you know, I came back to Ireland and, and, and with a very kind of distanced idea of landscape as something to review and contemplate and gradually became more and more absorbed by what is it, who are the people who occupy the land? Who are the, who are the voices that aren't being heard? And that, whether it's small farmers or whether it's the smallest dung beetle, it's, it's that interconnection between the human and the non-human world that I'm really interested in. So yeah. this piece of work that we're doing now is very much to do with where those two entwine. Yeah in the west of Ireland. And from a sound perspective, you know, it's, you know, you start at the grass or the dung beetles, the sound would be great, put miniature mics on those dung beetles and just get the sound of them working. And, and then you have, you know, instead of the monoculture of a ryegrass, all you hear, you know, you don't, you don't hear anything, really, you know, but to compare that with a meadow and the different insects, the different buzz, like it's Bernie Krause, it's yeah. the, it's the, uh, the symphony of the, of the insects. And the same with the birds. And I'm sure if you came and mapped the place in the different fields, the different grasses, the orchard, all the different swords, that, you know, that would really tell the amount of species you would have there. And I'm sure it's absolutely unbelievably rich. I can't wait to actually yeah. get a few trucks. Oh, well, I'm very so excited. Kind of deep mapping process. Mm. Yeah, I mean, it's a map at an audio level would be really amazing. Oh, uh, no, I, I'd love to take part in this. This just sounds fantastic. like a most fantastic project. And you're both close enough by that yeah, I'm, yes, yep, so you can away. call in, uh, yeah. you know, ring me up and call yeah. in and record the bats and yeah. the yeah. bats to dung beetles swifts exactly. to buzzards yeah, do it from woodpeckers a, yeah, from to ants up in a yeah. 3d yeah you know, start from the you know ants the sound of ants you know Catch it's really yeah you know, no that's uh, oven mitt having a bath i mean because i mean we have the anthills here yeah we have the grasshoppers we have yeah i mean there's, there's, the there's insect an life here is an amazing variety of sounds that you know Right to the top it's of the one tree of the to the woodpeckers. I love about working you know? with you because you're so attuned to that. Mm. I mean, he tells me I'm half deaf. <laughs> That's not true. <laughs> no, but I'll tell you a, a very interesting sound that you might know of, but you might not have heard. What I love is the sound of wasps scraping the um, old stems to make their paper. Yeah. 
Do you know that sound? No, I don't, there was no. a, uh, a performance art project that was done over in Kilfane Gardens, uh, which is, you know, like 15 minutes away. And uh, during the performance, they had a soundtrack going. And during the performance, I could hear this particular sound. And I spoke to the sound engineer afterwards and I said, did you have wasps rasping and collecting their, their, their paper making product from dry um, uh, uh, plant stems? And he said, how the hell did, you, the hell know did you know that? <laughs> yeah, that's deep, that's deep nerd yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah. Totally deep yeah. nature nerd yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Yeah, Excellent. Amazing.